TLC's My Strange Addiction. Now, this show has been around for quite a while now, and all I can say is, the stuff on here is just straight up weird. You thought the dude who was obsessed with Pac-Man was weird? No. Convey to him somehow that no. he really should. Pac-Man! Pac-Man! No. Pac-Man! Oh, no. Lest no. The no. About Pac-Man. no. Wait till you watch this. Now, all I can say is, uh, to anybody watching this, do not even do any of the stuff that's on here, because that's just... You're thinking stupid right now. Can I say that on here? Stupid? That's an intelligence of you. There, that's better. But, well, anyways, uh, I don't really have anything else to say, so let's get into it. Okay, so for today, we're going to be taking a look at uh, Women Eats 100 Square Meters of Drywall in 7 Years. Now, when I first saw the title and thumbnail for this, I just had to watch it because how the heck do you eat that much drywall in 7 years? At this point, you don't even have a house. Like, it's probably, it's probably just uh, the wooden parts of the wall. You know, the thing that holds the house together? It's probably just that. My name is Nicole. I'm 26 years old. I'm a single parent. I live in Detroit, Michigan. Okay. Okay. And I'm addicted to eating drywall. Okay. Okay, I know we just started and all, all, but I do not like this already because... Uh, just the sound she makes when eating that drywall, it just doesn't sound right to me. Like, it reminds me of a Kit Kat bar. You know when you split that thing in half, it makes that sound. Actually, let me do that up close. That's what it makes. And you know, it's kind of reminded me of that because just the way it sounds, I just don't like it. I do not like it at all. Also, just looking at this, looking at this freeze frame right here, she literally tore a big hole in her wall just to eat the drywall, man. That's like at least a, a week's worth right there. How the heck do you do that? And also, why? Why are you doing this? I am literally eating my house. You don't say. Nicole has been addicted to eating drywall for over seven years. It started innocently with a bite of chalk. Wait, what? I switched from chalk to drywall because that can't, drywall that can't be tastes right. better than... Wait, hold up. You said... Drywall tastes better than chalk? Now, from my perspective, they both taste like crap. But I'm just saying, I'm just saying, who in their right mind thinks that drywall tastes good? You ought to be off some type of meds to think that way. But either ways, why did you eat chalk to begin with? It didn't really say why she ate chalk. I, I'm just saying, what made you want to eat chalk to begin with? Were you curious on, on how it tasted? Or were you just straight up hungry and there was nothing to eat? I mean, hey, if there was no food in the world, I'd probably have to eat chalk. I'm lying. I'm not going to do that. And also, quick question, quick question. Do you think when she burps, it lets out a lot of, uh, of that drywall powder and stuff? You know, like... You know, that type of stuff that ninjas use when they want to disappear? That type of stuff. I, I should be pretty funny. Or, what if she farts too? Will it release powder like that? If so, wow. wow. I love the smell of drywall, the texture of it, the taste. Oh. I love everything about drywall. I don't, I don't get how it's good. It's kind of like a chalky taste. Well, I yeah. I probably eat about this much a day. What? That much a day? This much a day? This much a day? That's like a, that's like her size. So you would eat a ray plush amount of drywall? I don't know how to feel about this. I don't know how to feel about this, Ray. I'm gonna put you over here. You don't have to witness this for yourself. I'm just saying, that much drywall? How do you not have stomach problems or do you think with all that drywall, your stomach feels dry and stuff, or your th throat feels dry? Do you at least drink water or anything, you know, to at least swallow that stuff down? Because I know your throat has to be itchy. I'm just thinking about it right now. Like, if you swallow it, did your throat feel itchy or dry? Ugh, I don't like that. I do not. I don't. I really don't. I don't want to think about it no more. And it says here, Nicole eats about 0 0.3 square meters of drywall a week. That's over 93 square meters in seven years. 
So yeah, that is true. That is like Ray Plusha size. Like, wow. How are you still alive? That's what I want to know. Like, do you not eat? Well, I mean, I know you're, you're a single mother, so you have to at least cook something. Or, I'm just going to say it. Do you think whenever she makes some food, like spaghetti and stuff, and she wants Parmesan cheese, she has to shred up the drywall and stuff, you know, like, a, like to look like Parmesan cheese, and they don't suspect it? I can already picture that. Or, like, when she's eating eggs and stuff, and she wants to put salt, she has, like, crushed up a drywall, and she puts it in a salt shaker, and, you know. Ooh, that's... I can already see that happening. I get drywall wherever I can find it. My house, what? for instance, my friend's house, oh. and sometimes my grandmother's house. Okay, so she's been taking drywall from her friends and family's houses? Like, how did it not know it's you? I mean, I'm just gonna say it. Imagine leaving your friend's home and then the next thing, you know, her house is just straight up gone, you know? Then she'll wonder, where did my house go? You know, I'm gonna keep it real with you. It kind of reminds me of that one episode of Spongebob. Well, two episodes, actually. You know, the one where the Alaskan, the Alaskan giant bullworm ate through Spongebob's house? That's kind of what it reminded me of. And there's also that one episode where they went on strike, where Spongebob destroyed the entire Krusty Krab. That's kind of what it's reminding me of. You know, the moment that one of her friends or family walk in, you'll notice that everything's gone. <laughs> I just don't know how I even thought about that to begin with. <laughs> but either ways, I would not be happy to find out that my, uh, there's a hole in my wall. I will not. This is the hole in my wall that I've created by uh, picking, and I've been picking at it How for like two months. Two? That's two I months? I take right? a piece like this, and I take it, and I break oh, it. Hold up, hold up. You say you pick it. How do you pick it? Because I know I know drywall can't be that hard or soft. So something tells me you just got to punch that thing. Well, I did not mean to punch you guys. Are you okay? Are you okay? Look, you're okay. You're okay. Look, get up. I'm sorry. I did not mean to punch you. Look. But are you okay, though? Are you actually okay? So she just got to punch the wall, and then she gets what she wants. You know, she Detroit smashed that. I can already see that happening, you know, when she's craving something at 3 in the morning. Then you just hear a boom somewhere coming across from her, from her room. You know, if I were a kid and I heard that, I'm staying myself in bed because I know for a fact that that's got to be the boogeyman. Or maybe a mole rat. Nicole's addiction spiraled out of control when her mother died five years ago. Oh, there it is. The loss of my sister has been very, very hard on Nikki. But she's trying to stand strong. But it does really bite her. But what does the drywall have to do? No one in my do? life knows about my addiction to drywall. It's very weird and has... Did the camera guy really record that? Or did, did they tell them to do that, you know, like a, you there, stand over there while she tries to take some drywall from behind you? You know, I was going to be like, okay. But I mean, like, I'm just going to say it. Is she really stealing drywall? Like, you can't be that desperate for some drywall. I mean, you were, you were shopping for some drywall. Why don't you get your own drywall? Or at least buy some chalk. Well, you, you said chalk was nasty, but either ways. Stop eating your house. Just stop it. Stop it. Okay, so she finally it's goes to see a doctor. to find out what's in drywall, what I may have done to my body. Have you had any problems with belly pain or nausea, vomiting, mm. constipation? I've had, like, stomach pain, but I've always okay, yeah. thought that it was because of uh, spicy foods. Mm -hmm. Spicy foods? Ma'am, you've been eating drywall. How can it be spicy foods? Now, don't get me wrong, I've eaten spicy foods too, but it don't burn my stomach. So, what do you have to say? It can't be spicy foods. Unless you're eating that uh, McDonald's buffalo sauce, then I know that stuff really do be burning. Ooh. Well, sometimes. But then that Popeye's sauce, that Popeye's hot sauce, that really that really gets, the, gets the, the food tasting good, but it's not that hot. Now, if you want to talk hot, eat a ghost pepper. And there can be other toxic compounds that are poisonous to humans and even cause cancer later on. There's the cancer That's part. That's really bad. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Good that is bad. not having any symptoms. That would suggest that you have any damage right now. Okay. But... Okay, that's actually pretty good. She doesn't have any no symptoms. That's actually kind of surprising. You know, 
for her eating drama for seven years. That's that's actually pretty surprising. So she's lucky. Now that I know what's in drywall and all the things that it could do to me, it was a real wake up call. Okay. I want to be there for my son to see him grow up. I don't want to That's good. get sick That's good. knowing that I could have prevented it. It's going to be very hard, but by the end of this month, uh, I want to be drywall free. Okay, so she's taking action, so that's actually really good. But then, I wonder where she is right now. Uh, Okay, so I couldn't really find much about her, so I'm assuming that she actually took action and she's uh, addiction-free. So if that's the case, that's actually really good. So three claps for you. So congratulations. But yeah, I'm just going to say it. How the heck can someone eat drywall? I'm like, that stuff has to be yucky. Like, just the first taste of it. It's got to be like, Puh, I'll spit it out like that. Ooh, that was some video. Am I right, Hasune Miku plushie? Honestly, yeah, I agree. Like, that was actually some video, and who knows, maybe I'll actually do, do more reactions to this. That is if a TLC isn't uh, strict about their things, because I believe TLC will take down some videos, depending on, I guess, the topic and the type of video. So we'll have to see about it. But, yeah, I'm going to end the video here, so before I go... Be sure to follow me on my social media and be sure to subscribe as well if you enjoyed the videos, which will actually be in the link in the description below. So be sure to go check it out. Okay. But well, anyways, like I always say, stay fresh and laters. <laughs>